Thing. A child's voice in court, that is the role of a CASA volunteer, also known as a court-appointed special advocate. In today's Commonwealth of Kindness, Destiny Quinn introduces us to a CASA volunteer who has been serving children in this area for eight years. Over the past two years, Kamisha Powell has earned the Presidential Bronze Service Award for serving 100 plus hours each year. For Kamisha, each hour is priceless. Just seeing the types of populations, the demographics of children that we serve, I knew that this is what I wanted to do. Kamisha has always loved kids. She started her career as a kindergarten teacher before transitioning to a role with a nonprofit agency, Community Action Council, here in Lexington. Our mission is to prevent, reduce, and eliminate poverty for individuals, families, and communities through direct services and advocacy. Through her job and her volunteer work with CASA, she's able to bridge a gap for the children and families that she works with. So for instance, at Community Action, we offer Head Start services from babies right before kindergarten. And so on a couple of cases that I've had, I was able to serve children and introduce them to Head Start, and they were able to enroll in our program because they needed that particular service. While providing needed services to kids is crucial, it's all about being a constant. Even though they moved from foster home to foster home, they had a different social worker, so moved from social worker to social worker, they knew that I would be the one knocking at the door monthly to check in on them. And one of my Costa children, he said, I knew you would come, I knew you would be here. And being a voice for those most vulnerable. I just have a heart for service and definitely a heart for children. Right now, there are more children with cases than there are volunteers. The next training session to become a CASA is in September. If you're interested in becoming a CASA volunteer, we have more information on the WKYT News app. And if you have a story of kindness that you would like to see highlighted, email kindness at WKYT.com.